Yeah, here he is. How you doing? Good. Watch. It's been a minute since I've seen you. It's been <laughs> yeah, a, it's been a while. I've been there about 10 years ago. I know. Boston Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. So you got a lot of cool rides here, Tony. This place is like a, Kenworth a time machine, the Kenworth Junkyard, a time <laughs> machine. Some might call it treasures. This, uh, what, what's this right here? This was my 96 cab over. I bought it, it was all running, and it has a 3406E in it. And um, I bought it running. I was gonna chop the frame, which I did, and extend it, Yeah. but plans changed so now basically this one's all done yeah and the e model cat i'm taking out and i'm going to put it in the uh the 89 cab over aerodyne oh yeah so because it's a new it's a 96 it got the newer engine yeah yeah and i'll probably put a 15 speed in that truck too. okay maybe i'll keep the nine but i'm not positive yet so this one's pretty much all. This was uh, Joe Seafood down the Cape. Oh yeah. This was one, and uh, originally it was an Americana truck for the old guys. Oh really? They used to live in Maine. Were this, they were they red and white? Red, white, and blue. And blue, was, yeah. And they yeah. hauled um, they hauled out of Southampton Street. Oh yeah, there's the colors right there. Yeah, and they uh, and it used to haul the stainless trailers. Oh, I remember those. Back. You will yeah. probably remember. I remember those when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. You know. And then he bought them, they were giving them away, so he bought it, used it. Yeah. And then he didn't want it because nobody wanted to drive cab over, so right. I, I scooped it for like nothing. No kidding. You know, even though the motor was mint. Yeah. But yeah. That's fantastic. You know, so basically I bought it just, I was going to restore it, but then it just plans changed. Wow. You know. What we got over here? A couple of oil yeah, trucks? Yeah, my father's oil trucks, yeah. We've been doing fuel since. Uh, my grandfather started in 1906, uh, 1906. Wow. Yeah, so it's 116 years. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but this is the last of the last. We're all really? done. Yeah. You know, that, he bought this one in 87 from uh, Lucini. Okay. And uh, I did all the work, put it together. And, uh, but then my brother wanted a newer truck, so he bought this, the but. Sterling? Yeah, you know. Wow. Got a little caterpillar De in it. Now, how do you say D'Agostino? Is that how you say it? Yeah, D'Agostino. D'Agostino. Yeah. yeah. We're all originally from South Boston, Southie. Okay. Is that where you grew up? I, I, I was, I didn't, I grew up in Dedham, but okay. I was there like all the time. Yeah. Because that's what my, where our business was. Okay. We had, my father had two big shops over there. Really? And then, uh. Of course, Southie now, it's all yuppie, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's gone through that. Uh, if I drove a truck through Southie now, I'd probably be on the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> it's all been gentrified, as they say. Gentrification, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. The, 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 the excavating, I started when I was pretty much out of high school, too. Okay. And I started driving, so I flipped back and forth. But I was on the road for what? I don't even know. 13 years. Really? 10, 10 13 years. Yeah, you know, and I'd come home if some, if I had a good excavating job, I'd hit it. I'd do it. You oh, know? really? So yeah. So you were doing both. In yeah, between. I was doing both. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So these are your old machines. Yeah, this one I just this cat I just picked up. Oh really? It got low hours, so I just picked it up. But I got to repaint it and go through the whole thing. The Kawasaki I bought new. Yeah. And uh, you some yeah. do some plowing with it? Yeah, every for years ever since i <laughs> well had, not this year <laughs> before i had my license even my yeah. father would go get in the truck drive really like that my mother would yell i was in the blizzard of 78 with, were you yeah wow yeah. i was 14 i was years gonna old. say you're not that much older than me 14 years sitting next to my dad out in 93 we did uh the split from chinatown really yeah. back and forth what yeah. do you remember about the blizzard of 78 uh, a lot of hours i remember at the split, there was a, How a Howard Johnson's, a yep. big one. You were oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Right in uh, Milton, yeah. Blue Hills. Yeah, there was Hills. a whole row yeah. of phone booths. So my dad gets out mm -hmm. and he goes, 
go out and call your mother, tell her you're all, we're all right, because, so, you know, it was pretty bad. Yeah. And uh, so I was in the phone booths in that long line. It must have been 30 phone, you know, all yeah, in the Yeah, I remember those. And yeah. the whole phone, the whole island was shaking <laughs> back and forth. My mother goes, what's that noise? I go, the phone booths are blowing. I got almost tipping over, Ma. She goes, I'm going to kill your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about those phone booths. Yeah. yeah that was a great place to park. The oh, trucks yeah. right off the highway used to stop yeah. there all the time. Oh, my yeah. early I days wish it was still there because I'd yeah. probably be living up there. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got over here? We got a nice flat glass here. My 93. Yep. I bought this brand new in 93. I ordered it right from the factory. It had the big Aerodyne sleeper. It was three feet long. Uh, oh, really? And, um, and um, I love this truck. This is my, this is my baby. But uh, What were you doing with it in 93? I was running uh, Coors Beer. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I did. I, I ran the road a little with this, but I was running cores mostly. For us, we started in Elton, Virginia. I think it was. Uh, no, this one never went to. Um, this truck never went over the river to uh, to the big cores plant in Golden. But I hauled out of Elton, Virginia, their cores mm -hmm. plant when they yeah. opened it, and we hauled out of there with the uh, with uh, guys from Westfield. Yep. Yeah. And. Uh, Walker Transportation. I don't know if you ever seen. Oh yeah, trucks. I remember Walker. Yeah, they big were, rides. They were spotless. Oh yeah. Well, look at my hat. look at my hat. Oh yeah, beer haulers. Yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah that yeah. was their logo. Yeah. And, uh, and they had. They, what a coincidence! I'm wearing this hat today. Yeah. Total coincidence. Yeah. That's and we funny. We were hauling out of there. Then we went to near Albany, near Gilderland, and oh, then yeah. finally Foxborough Terminals. Oh yeah. Fox so this Boat truck Terminals. did cause most of its early days, which was nice. Now, isn't uh, Truck and Coors east of Georgia illegal? Years ago. Yeah, yeah. Then they, then they changed it. You know, we, a smoke in the bandit reference. Yeah, we, I never thought of it back then, but yeah, he had the black Kenworth and stuff. But yeah, I that's know. awesome, dude. Wow. So this had the big aerodyne bunk. Yeah, it looked, just, it looked just like that. Yeah. I'll include some pictures that's, later from that's your That's a 93 page. also, but that's, um, that's a uh, long nose, L oh, model. Yeah, yeah. And this one was the B model. And what this have under the hood? Four and a quarter. Really? Yeah. And I, I did the engine over uh, probably like five years ago. Okay. And mostly because the liners were leaking. Yep. So we rebuilt the whole thing and uh, I tuned it up a little bit to give it some extra power. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did all, I do my own work. I've been doing them for years and I got my buddy that just sets all the valves for me and does the little technical stuff. Yep. The engine work we do, everything's in house, you know? Transmission, the transmission's a 15 over. Okay. You know, side to Can side. Can I open the door? What? Can I open the yeah. door? Side to side, crisscross. Nice. Does she start? Yeah. Can we hear it? Yeah. Sounds good, Tony. Yeah. Started right up. Oh, yeah. Not even hesitated. No. This thing starts better than the new one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call this? On? Now, when I was a kid, I always remember seeing the bobtails with these big things yeah, on the back just, for weight, right? Yeah, just weight for plowing. Yeah, it's a 275 oil gallon tank. What's and, in it? Uh, concrete. Concrete, okay. Yeah, I just fill them with concrete. You know, I got another one, but this one's a little lighter. That yeah. thing's crazy heavy. But you put that on, and it's like a tank goes anywhere. Really? Yeah. And Holds you right down? Oh, yeah. Sometimes, not all the time, but we still run chains, yeah. tire chains. Okay. We chain up, and between the weight and the, and the, uh, and the uh, chains go right through anything. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, put a big plow on this thing? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. The I wish I was plowing with my 900. Yeah. I never drive, I never hardly ever drive a truck. I've been in the Lotus since I was a little kid. Really? Yeah, I, I, I'm not into plowing with the trucks. Okay. I mean, I was on the highway maybe. Years yeah. ago we were on the highway. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's something. This is, um, this is the first year, Mike, this truck's retired. This one? It's 30 years, 30 wow. years old this year. Wow. So uh, I retired it, and I'm going to uh, go through the whole truck. Okay. And uh, that's why I'm putting the cab over together. And I got my 17 here. Do that. This is a 17? Yeah. Wow. This is, the, this is your daily driver nine no, months out actually, of the year? Actually, this sat almost all year. I've been driving the 93 okay. all summer long. I've been driving the 93. And this one got over a million miles on it now. I mean, on the truck, not the Yeah, truck. yeah. 
So what's this one got on it? Got in it? This got the 550 cat. Oh, it's open. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's a glider kit? No. I mean, not. What am I talking about, cat? No, I got the 550 Cummins. I'm such I was a gonna, cat I was guy. I gonna say. I can't make myself say Cummins. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is nice. This one. So this is a flat glass too, huh? Yeah, you added everything with flat. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's the way to do it. This one, um, this one got flat glass. Uh, it's, this one's loaded. It got everything. It got oh, the lights are on inside. This one, it, yeah, it shuts off. Okay. This is the login package. The login package. Yeah. So I went up to Maine and I, I got the specs off a login truck. Yep. So this basically the only thing this doesn't have with the login had was the floaty tires in the front. Mm -hmm. I didn't want they're too expensive to change. Okay. But everything else is the I got uh, you know the um, ADZ new way on the back the heavy is it, rears. Now is that a B model? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like the look of that. I had a fight with the guy to order it. Really? He goes, this, I can't get it no more. I said, listen, I was just up in Maine. The guy told I got you know. He goes, oh yeah, they do sell a B. They don't want to sell them no more. They really? want to sell all the new stuff, I the like 990s the and the old, the new stuff. Dude, I would never know this was a new truck. Yeah, with the way it looks, totally what, old school. Uh, yeah. Little one of my the kids said one day, he goes, Tony, that's the old, that's the newest looking, oldest looking truck I've ever seen. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> the, with the you glass, and the... I, they're almost identical. Yeah, that's, except that's, for the grill bars. Yeah, the yeah. Bump is a couple of yeah. things, but yeah. And what we got sitting over here? F and B uh, muscles. That was Joe, one of Joe's old trucks too. Yeah. That was a '94, and uh, basically I got to just take it. I'm just skeletonizing parts off. Uh huh. Oh, I sold. Uh, I don't know if you know Ralph Smith. Yeah, I, I know. I never met him. Yeah. The guy's a legend from the South yeah. Shore. Yeah. yeah. Him and Dicky uh, were up here, and I sold him the chassis for his A model Kenworth. Oh really? They were the same rails. He goes, "Could I buy him one? Go ahead, open it." Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. What year is this one? 94. 94, yeah. They they took the good motor out of it and cannibalized the truck like Wow. You know? Look at that, huh? Nice Eldorado seat in there. Yeah. That'll break your back. I mean, basically <laughs> this truck was a mint truck. But really? Nobody wanted them years ago. Yeah. They took all the good parts off them. Nice. You know? So what's the deal with this orange one here? That was also uh, Joe, a Joe Seafood truck. Okay. And it was running up in New York. And uh, it had a four and a quarter. Originally had an 18 Super. Yeah. And this was, uh, I don't know if it was a Shell Super Rigs truck, but. Really? I got the pictures I'll show you. I need to see them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got the yeah. little cards with the Super Rigs. Oh, super really? Rigs. This, a guy in New Hampshire bought this brand new. And I think originally, see the blue frame? Oh, yeah. And it was painted white. Okay. So I think he worked for, what's the, North American. Yeah. Then something changed and he went to work for, um, Allied? Alliance. Uh, oh, the car haulers? Yeah, the, they call all the high end stuff. Yeah, out of Michigan, yeah. And then he hauled, then he worked for them. Alliance. And the thing was loaded. Yep. But Joe bought it. I don't know if Joe bought it from him or not, but, uh, but the motor, the motor was, he said it was overheating, so he brought it here. He goes, can you do me a favor and fix the engine for me? So I took it apart, and I dropped the pan, and I put pressure to it. Soon as soon as I seen it, it was like a waterfall coming out of the really? liners. So I said, Joel, you need an engine. It's cooked. Yeah. He goes, oh, I just put all kinds of money. So it stayed here for like two years. Yeah. Finally, I said, Joe, you, you going to come and get this thing? He goes, you want to buy it? I go, I don't even want it, because... The guy that was driving it, Mike, you were, you're like, you take care of your stuff. Inside, I took two full trash bags of garbage uh, out of it. Yeah. It was, it's disgusting. Yeah. Even now, if you look, you'll just really? go, what? I won't even look. But, uh, but. How's the bunk? Is it all trash too? The bunk is actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. But the underneath, the, the aluminum from bouncing around got right. all beat up. But I don't know what I'm, I, what I'm going to do is take my W9, that truck, I'm mm -hmm. going to strip this all down i'm going to use this chassis yeah and uh i'm going to put the, you leave the long nose in and put my cab on it okay. with us i got a small 42 inch sleeper over there okay yeah i saw so, that yeah, yeah i'm gonna oh, that'll be cool i'm gonna use that this truck because 
Well, everybody, when I sell it, everybody wants the long nose with the small bunk with the long yeah. chassis. Yeah. And yeah. the big engine. Oh, yeah. You know, so, yeah, I, I'll, I'll get some good, pretty good money for that someday. So you did some over the road truck in. Yeah. And what made you get off the road? Just things changed. Yeah. Just, yeah, the, the loads weren't coming in as much. And, uh, what really happened was, uh, I know I worked for Refrigerated Food Express. Yep. And the owner was Tom Welby. He was a young guy. Yeah. But he got cirrhosis of the liver and died. Oh. And he was awesome. He was the best, got the, one of the best guys I ever worked for. Yeah. And he died, and then everything just changed for really? me. It just, he was all about the drivers. It, I'd have a problem, and they'd say, Tony, you can't go in and see, see Tom. Mm -hmm. I go, listen, I, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the guy that's mm -hmm. paying me. Yeah. So I went right over there. I'm right in here. Come on in. Have a coffee. Talk, get Tony Daggers to you a coffee. How you doing? Everything yeah. going okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the best guys. And uh, oh, yeah. it was so nice. And it was all the old timers that worked yeah. there that were there from like the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. And then it started changing. And then I was just a number. And yeah. I just said, I'm all set. Unfortunately, that's what happens yeah. with these companies. I the the said, owners die. All... and Yeah. And, and then yeah. there was me. There was uh, me, there's a guy up in Maine that was a good buddy of mine, Ricky Guy on, uh, Wayne Greenwood. There was a whole mess of older guys, and they were the best. Yep. When I first started there, I was the youngest guy. They didn't take young guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I got in there, but I got in there. Yep. And, um, and the old guys, they didn't talk to me for the first really? two or three years. Wow. Nobody talked to me. They just said, look at this young guy. He's like a hippie. I had the long hair, the yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah. The bla I had a black 89 Freightliner, yeah. brand new with the big stainless wing. I'll include pictures in the and video. And they just stayed, I was like a biker yeah. guy, so they just stayed right. away. They were like all clean cut, the right. old guys. Cigarettes hanging out of their mouth. And the first time I met them, when they started talking to me, I was in Cleveland. Yeah. And, um... I was at this motel and we had a dispatch office there down in the bottom. And uh, my dispatcher goes, yeah, Tony, go out back. There's a few guys out there. So I walk out back. I go, oh boy, look at these guys. They had all the old cab overs mm -hmm. and A model Kenworths. And one of them had a, a steel nose early freight liner and uh, with a Cummins in it. And I was looking at him and I go, what the heck, what's that? And he had propane injection going to it, <laughs> Come and on. that little 350 Cummins would <laughs> would pull up like out of would pull up out of New York, yeah, up up the hill, up that big hill, Fish and um, uh, yeah, up uh, on the pike, yeah, yeah, and oh yeah, I had a brand new four yeah. and a quarter. He just walked right away Come from me. On. He'd turn on that, that propane 350, yeah? in the middle of the night. He'd turn that propane. You could see the blue <laughs> flame, and I didn't know it, but the propane is like not it actually cools the engine down wow yeah and he these guys were like the old time timers and yeah they'd be in there setting the valves while their motors would be apart and i just sit there and go these this is it that's this the place, is when yeah. you're a young kid and yeah. you see that you're just like wow you were going to school <laughs> yeah i was just like you know but they didn't really take to me for a long time till one time they seen me i was like out i had a toolbox out mm -hmm. i was adjusting my brakes and fit wrenching tightening stuff and they said, oh, this, this kid knows, you know, he's fixing yep. his own stuff. And then they started coming around and talking to me. But it was like two, two almost three years before they even talked to me. So as, as you've gone through your, your career and you meet younger truckers, do you remember that? And oh, try yeah. to reach out to them yeah. and be like a mentor yeah. to them? I wish, it was, I wish it was still the same, like, yeah. you know, but I tell, them, I tell them like I'm talking to you the old days, but I... You know, you can never replace those days. You no. could tell someone a million times out what it was like, but you yeah. never, you know, it's just different. I mean, like this cab over here, this, this is an 89 Kenworth. You remember yourself when Werner had, Werner truck and had all yep. these? Oh yeah. And I remember parking next to him, making deliveries. Yep. And I, I look at it, go, look at brand new W, you know, uh -huh. K100, I go, that thing's nice. You know, they were set back axles that weren't, weren't they? This one was yeah. too. Was it really? Yeah, this one and that one were both set so what back. Do we got, so, what's this one in the corner here from? This is an 88. And where did it come from? And uh, I got this just down in Rhode Island. A guy had it. It was an old ex Pepsi Cola truck. Really? So, it had 
a 3406 in it with yep. a nine speed and it had uh 370 rears and what i did was i rebuilt everything i mean the motor was all good mike yeah but i i you know the cam was wiped out so i put a new cam did all the lower end put jake brakes on it because pepsi didn't have jakes mm -hmm. uh, i put 411s in the rear all brand new suspension 15 speed straight 15 speed uh Everything's brand. I mean, everything. Every airline. Everything's brand new. And I also have for it. I wasn't. I bought it for the '96, but I bought a brand new. Just before you couldn't get it no more. I bought a brand new VIT interior for really? it. Really? That matches my W9. That ox blood. Yeah. So I got a brand spanking new stock wow. Kenworth interior. I paid more for the interior than the truck. <laughs> <laughs> the truck. <laughs> But wow. uh, I'll let the cab down. I'll let you look. This, yeah. I did the inside. Let's, let's tell uh, the people at home how you do that. I um, I didn't put the new interior, but the dashboard, I restored okay. the whole thing. These old cabos, they got the manual jack. Yeah, oh, yeah. So oh, you got to jack them up. This will this will jack right to 90 degrees. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It'll go right to 90. You know, if I wanted to pull the engine, it's... It's super nice to work on. I so when you it. drove over the road in the cab over before you jacked up the cab, you had to empty out your bunk first, right? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> or it'd all be in the wind, windshield. Yeah. yeah. I did drive cab for uh, United um, United Truck Leasing out of, uh, out of Braintree. Braintree. Yeah, yeah. I used to haul some of those. So when we were little kids, yeah. one of my buddies worked over there, and uh, they'd say, he goes, yeah, one of my buddies wants to haul too, so he goes, they didn't even care. They'd say, give us your license. They'd do a little photocopy. Uh -huh. There was no medical cards. Right. And they'd say, go out and find a tractor and stuff, and we'd throw our CBs in it <laughs> with the vice grips on the mirrors. <laughs> they would have a blast running down to Jersey. We'd just bring empty trailers back and That's forth. That's incredible. It was awesome. When I started driving, I used to drive for East Coast Truck and Trailer. You oh, know, yeah, the, the, part, the parts company in Brockton. Yeah, but they, yeah. There used to be a trailer repair company. Yeah. I used to go to United Truck Lease and pick up the tractors with the body damage. That wasn't from you, was it? The body damage? No. Oh, okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> Must have been those those old time steering wheel holders. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This but is pretty cool. Wow. We had a blast though, running down there, and everybody knew each other. And back yeah. then on the CB at night, everybody used to talk and joke and crazy. Back when '95 had toll booths. Yeah. Yeah, May yeah, I did have the toll booth. Mayflower Diner. Yeah. Sakani Brothers. Yeah, my not uh, Sakani's. I was there all the time. Yeah, me too. And uh, and Mayflower with yep. my '89 Freightliner popped a jug. It was brand new, but uh -huh. it was an it was lemon. They're the guys who uh, fixed it. And one of my buddies picked me up in a an old K100. Yeah. Double bunk, and uh, and we uh, and he gave me a ride home. I I hitched a ride home with him. Yeah, those are good times. 76 in Branford, Connecticut. A Texaco and State yeah. Line, right? I lived down in, uh, uh, was it the Petro, the Petro when they first built it down in near uh, Richmond on 95? Oh, yep, yep. You know, like in you're, you're, you're town, the, board in town, Yeah, you're the man. same age as me. When they yeah. built board in town, because yep. I, I worked out of there, <sighs> yep. when they built board in town, I thought I was in heaven. <laughs> yeah, but, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I got a little light for you. Somewhere around. I can see. I got good lighting in here. Okay. Oh yeah. You could go right up That's in there. That's nice. You look at the dashboard, yeah. I restored the whole dashboard, every switch, everything brand new. Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this brings back memories. In a few months, you come back and it'll be all done. Now, what year did you say this is? 88. Okay. Yeah. So this is like, to me, a newer style cab over. Yeah. Because the doghouse has the, that yeah. space between the that. Short shift. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The C models were the older ones. Yeah. Because of the ones I rode in. This is really awesome. But, um. So it's going to fire up in a few weeks or a few months? Uh, no, a couple of weeks I should have no it right. kidding. Yeah. Now, what do you got over here in this corner? Now, this is the 89. This was um, originally a United, um, a United uh, moving truck. Okay. And then it went to Wheaton. Then I think Bobby Resendiz from Somerset oh, yeah. bought Hello, it. Bobby. Yep. He ran it for a while, and then he took out the engine and just left it here parked, and then that's when I picked it up. Just basically for parts, but I couldn't see myself cutting this thing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, no, this is a So classic. when I moved all the front, the front wheels were set back a foot, same as the yep. other one. 
and I moved them all up front. I just took the part numbers off my other cab overs and just got the springs and the parts. It was b very simple to do. Mm -hmm. And I moved it all forward and uh, it made the whole truck look 100% better. Yeah, I yeah. never was into the setback axle. No. I just It looks like a bus. Yeah, same with the internationals, like the yeah. Schneiders. Yeah, I just, yeah. It's yeah. not, no. Yeah. It's got to be a forward axle. You know, so uh, this had all air ride on it. No way, it didn't, the motor was just, it didn't have a motor, tranny, yeah. nothing. I just bought the chassis. So I'm going to put the, the 435 cat in here with the 15 speed. I had, a, uh, I had a guy make an aftermarket interior for it. It's yeah. upstairs in my house. So I got the interior. I got every piece for this. And I even bought years ago when they still sold decent parts. I, I got brand new Alcoa aluminum oh. small hole wheels. <laughs> So yeah. I got them all brand new in a box for it. All right. Yeah. So what are we going to do with these trucks? Going to ride them around and go get groceries? This, one, this one's a heavy spec truck. I'm going to pull the dump trailer with that and oh. my equipment. Yep. You know. This one here, I'm going to just, you know, I got the flatbed outside. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it a little. But then some lucky guy will have it because I'm going to sell it. I just want the Can money. Can I take it for a ride when you get it done? Yeah, you got it. All right. You ride that one too. I don't care. I'll come out. You got a date here. You come down <laughs> with my video cam. We're going to take it for a Any ride. Any truck you want to drive, drive All right. You want to work full time? So sorry, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You're lost. <laughs> oh, but yeah. But if I had the drivers, I'd put them in the trucks. Yeah. I'd, put, I'd put a guy in that. Yeah. Uh, a guy in this. But you know what? It's all about hurry up, get home, and who cares about the truck? The first yeah. few months, they were all big on driving. They all right. wanted to be the man. Yeah. Look at me in the truck. And I'm, then I'm after that. I post some pictures for Facebook. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then after that, it's all over. The fun's over, and it's all just hurry up and get you home. You know, I know a lot of guys like that. It's They don't have any longevity. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, you what, gotta walk. If you're gonna walk the walk, you gotta live it. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's you know, a lifestyle. Mike, it's, you live this every day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's 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 wearing on me. Yeah. Lately, because not so the driving doesn't bother. I love driving. Yeah. Just the whole the business end of it. Yeah. It's just hot, and you know, with this every every year is another law. It yeah. just gets worse and Regulations worse. Are just They're really crazy. just trying to get at rid of everyone. I mean, owner operator wise. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. You know, when everybody driving electric trucks yeah, that, end just, up on, that end up on a tow truck at the end know, of the day. You know? you know, we all started this because, you know what? Maybe we weren't the greatest in school, mm -hmm. you yep. know, and we were itchy. We, could, we didn't want to just sit in an office or something or even on a, on a job site. You wanted to go out and have fun and see the country. And years ago, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. We made a few bucks. You know, we had a good time. Yep. We stopped at a bar once in a while, but you know what? <laughs> sure did. We were we were dedicated to the truck, and we oh, you always got the load. It was all about the customer. The load had to be there on and time, in one no matter piece. what. Yeah, in one piece, yep. not you know just oh well. Uh, uh, my girlfriend called, so I'm gonna do a thousand miles an hour to get there, mm -hmm. and then for, I'm I'm just dead heading home without yeah. a load or something yeah, yeah. crazy like that. Yeah. That rubber. Yep. I called up Kenworth. I thought I, I bought them, but I couldn't find them. I thought they gave me the wrong ones. Wait, I bought that that the pots like ten years ago because mm -hmm. I had these things forever. Yeah. So when I called Kenworth for the windshield gasket, yeah, he goes, Tony, those are ops. Everything's obsolete. So you guys out there that are building these trucks, yeah, think twice before you buy them because. You can't even get parts like now. I, I was lucky I had these for years and I bought yeah. parts. Yeah. I got a stockpile of parts, but, and I got all those extra cabs. But you can't even, parts like, you know, interior parts and yeah. stuff like that are very, you can't, they're like scarce. You can't even find them. Anyone who's interested in these old cabs. How do you find them? But online, or you going junkyards? Or, I mean, these around trucks, here you won't find anything in a junkyard. Trucks, yeah. Well, Bob Rizendi said this, and you know, I bought this like close to like eight, eight to ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So when when they were around, everyone just wanted to get rid of them. Yeah. They were, you know, the last of the last. This one was just sitting in a field, way in the woods. Yeah. That one was just basically sitting in a parking lot, the '88, and. Uh, it was just sitting there, and you know they didn't want nothing. For Nobody it. thought there would be a a resurgence of people wanting cab overs. 
Yeah. And they want to just get rid of them and forget about them. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Nobody wants, you know. Now everybody wants one. Never but mind. the people that want to drive them every day never yeah. drove one. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, know. I would say that. I mean, I drove Freightliners and, uh, uh yeah. They were just like the yeah. whole dashboard would be. Yeah. I used to have to go down the road sometime with my foot on the dashboard because it would all be shaking apart. So the doors I, never closed tight. I didn't want nothing yeah. to do with a freight liner, but I yeah. drove. I never drove one, but I had guys that owned Peterbilt and Kenwood uh -huh. cab overs, and I rode with them like to get food and stuff. Yeah. And oh, it rode better than my W nine, yeah. I think. Really? These big, yeah. these they had big oh, bucks. Yeah. yeah. One buddy had a. Uh, a 350, uh, I think it was a 352, they call it. Uh, uh -huh. it's double bunk. Yeah. And the sleep, it was bigger than this one, the sleeper. It was like a queen size mattress yep. or something back there. <laughs> it was so big and it had a V8 cat. Yep. And I used to run in it with him. We used to go out for Chinese food while we were getting loaded. We'd take his cab. And uh, oh my God, that thing rode beautiful, wow. you know? But yeah. Kings of the road. Yeah. They all rode so nice. I mean, I think they rode just as good as a W9, yep. if not better. That's with funny. With it had, you know, air ride cab, yep. air ride suspension. They rode beautiful. But, yeah. But then there was the big surge, like, everyone. Yeah, the cab overs were like, oh, yeah. junk. Everyone went for the long hoods, you know. And I remember. But Matter of fact, in 93, when I bought my 93, mm -hmm. I priced out a brand new w, uh, K100. And they wanted more for the cab over than the W model. Really? And I said, why is that? I go, you can find them in the paper for like $5,000. <laughs> they were giving them away. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was it was, the, it was like they were switching over to the, the conventionals. Mm -hmm. And they were charging people. They just they knew what they were doing. Yeah. They wanted to charge everyone to get away from these trucks. Wow. But you could still order one. Oh. Up, to, up to 2002, you could still order a, a cab over. Mm. And then that was it. That was around, I think, the last year, 2002. Somewhere around there. In Europe, they're still running them. Yeah. That's all they run up there. Yeah, Australia. Yeah. 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 They still make the, the Kenworth cab overs in Australia. Yeah. They run those those tri triple trailers and stuff. I'm liking those Australian trucks yeah. these days. They have some, some beautiful some stuff. Some those, lights. Those guys, yeah. are, they, got, they got it going on. The big air breathers off the yeah. spot. Yeah, I got to get down there yeah. one of these days. Somebody invite me. Yeah. <laughs> I was you watching know? this. But, uh... But yeah, this will be this this tractor here. Well, I'll keep this till the end. This one mm -hmm. and my my W my ninety three W nine. Yep. These one those ones I'll keep to the end. The new truck, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I only got I don't even have two hundred thousand on yep. it yet. But I mean, it's running great and everything. But and I love the truck. I just wish it didn't have all the engine stuff. You know. Right. I mean, it's running good, but you know. So Tony, what made you decide to become an owner operator, venture out on the road? Did you have anybody growing up that you knew that did that, that inspired you, or did you just go out on your own? You know, so, well, my dad, you know, my uncles, they all had the oil trucks, the, you know, the trucks. So I worked on them since I was a little, little, little kid. Mm -hmm. I was with them in the, and I just loved it. It's just, you know, you just, love, you just, you're around it your whole life and you love it, mm -hmm. even though I was only a, a, you know, a little kid, a toddler just about. <laughs> but, yeah. but, you know, it's just, it, it, I had three younger brothers and, you know, they liked the trucks, but I was the only one that yeah. did it, you know. My brother Mike was with me for a while, but he wasn't into it like I am. I just, lo I just love the I stuff. I reach out to your brother Mike every two years to renew my hosting license. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got a company. Yeah. And every, uh, and every, every two years I send him a text, hey, can you send me a link to your company? Yeah. Easy. Real <laughs> easy to get done. It's the only way I know how to re renew it, too. Yeah. So, um... So I, I started with them, and you know, my dad's first truck was a '36 Dodge, yeah. and uh, and I drove my first truck. I drove was a '67 Chevy, big a big one, you know, and um, then I just went on from there. But my father would never had like the over the road trucks, mm -hmm. and. What so probably did, so what, what what probably got me hooked was, and you can understand this. Let me, was, let me guess. BJ in the van. No, it's no, it was on. before that. It was, oh, yeah. way, it was before that. I went to the, my father knew I liked trucks, so he took me into the Boston Commonwealth Pier yeah, to the Commonwealth big truck Pier, show, yeah. which oh, was yeah. at the time. I saw was, you there. Yeah, you probably, <laughs> I, probably you, saw you would, you. I know I you must have been there. I, I got pictures when yeah. I was. Yeah, when I walked in there and I'd walk around, I'd walk all through there and uh, 
and the colors of those trucks, mm -hmm. the paint and the interiors and just, oh my God, I was just like hooked. Yeah. I was just like, wow. And, and I sat and the models putting the pins on your oh shirt. Oh my god! Oh yeah, you know? well, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the caterpillar ladies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just be sitting there going, "Oh my god!" Absolutely. Even though I was a little kid, yeah. my father would just be like sitting there. I That's go, "Now funny. I think I know why he wanted to go." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but oh, that truck show! I just couldn't get enough. Yeah. I couldn't, you know, and you know, sitting there. But then, you know, I don't know why, but when I was like a young kid, the first time I ever got in a big truck and drove one. My father had a 74 GMC tractor. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was an old Sears signal system oh, truck. Yeah. Green. Green. Yeah, yeah. Like green. yeah, like a teal. Turquoise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turquoise. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the one who's seen it down in um, South Bay mm -hmm. in South Boston yeah. where the Home Depot is. That was the Sears terminal. Right. And our garage was down the street. The si they called it Signal, wasn't it? Signal systems. Yep. And uh, they had their big shop with all their trailers there. My father knew some of the mechanics. And I was driving by one day, I was like 13 years old, and I said, hey, Dad, look at that old truck over there. Maybe they want to sell it. It was just a tractor. Mm -hmm. So he went in, and during the blizzard of 78, it, up in Upper State, New York, it jackknifed at the side of a cliff. So the, half the nose was ripped off, and the cab on one side was squashed a little bit. So we bought it for like, I don't know, I think he paid like two grand for mm -hmm. it. And we took it, and that's the fresh tractor we had. And uh, he put a new cab on it, a new nose. I helped him a little bit. And I had that thing for years. Really? And, uh, and matter of fact, the shifter handle for that I saved, it's in my 17. <laughs> and, uh, that's great. And it had a 671 Detroit with a 10 speed. And uh, one time, one of my father's buddies as a mechanic he worked for Plymouth Rock oh yeah and Tosi trucking oh yeah he was a he was a Mac guy total yeah. mechanic Tosi Fowler what's yeah Tosi Fowler yeah, yeah. Easton and, and um, yeah. my dad goes hey take this truck for a ride see how it goes so I sat in my father's lap and uh, the shifter came right up to the back mm -hmm. and he was skipping gears and, and I just go <laughs> I want to drive like that. <laughs> I got to learn how to drive like that, right? My father's like, use the clutch. Oh, and I go, Dad, yeah, he didn't use the clutch. Yeah. And he's like, never mind what he does. You better use the clutch. Oh, so man. my parents went to, they went to Florida. Yeah. And I was only, I, I didn't have a CDL, no license yeah, yeah. back then or nothing. I just had a regular car license. And uh, they took off to Florida. And the truck happened to be at my mother's house in Dedham. And I drove that truck from... East Street Rotary to the South Shore Plaza, back and forth, up and down back and forth <laughs> until I was almost out of fuel, till I mastered that 10 speed without shifting. You know, the Detroit's, they yeah. had to wind the hell out oh, of them. Yeah. And I, I, I ran that truck back and forth, because if I was with my dad and I yeah. hit a gear, he'd hit me. Uh -huh. He'd whack me and say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so. I, clutch or no clutch? <laughs> with no clutch. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, he'd be yelling at yeah. me. I couldn't take it. So I went out. Yeah. So when they were in Florida, that's when I learned how to drive the, the Fullers, you know, the Eatons wow. and stuff. Yeah. I think the statue of limitations has run out. If Dad sees this, Dad will probably see this now. Yeah. <laughs> Does know, he know but, you did that? <laughs> oh, yeah, he know. Yeah. He goes, what? He, he was wondering why the tank was out of fuel when he got <laughs> home. But... But back then, no cops, no, yeah. I didn't even have a license. Nobody said nothing. Yeah. I just went back and That's forth awesome. and until I mastered that thing, you know. That's but called that was, the good old days of trucking, that right? Was, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I got some from Bud. I got some stuff upstairs. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. This is my first CB radio, my 90, my Lafayette. Wow. 23 channels. Yeah. That's super. Look at that. Yeah. What else you got in here? These are all my radios. So I got even more, but you know, there's the that one got the 250 watt linear right there. Look yeah. at that. That one came Old out Palomar. of my, yeah. That was the one I used cross country. Yep. Uh, those are base stations. Do you ever use but, those? Oh uh, yeah, but the antenna broke. I got to okay. put a new one. You know, and then um, yeah, the old lollipop mics. You wow. Know? Yeah. I've been in the CB since the early 70s when I was a little, little kid. Yeah. We'd all talk from house to house. What do you think about truckers who don't use CBs? They have them with them. Stupid. <laughs> That's all I could say. Right? I go, you know, it's the simplest, easiest thing 
to just say, hey, look out, there's a, a guy stopped in front of you. Yeah. But no, they'll fly by doing 100 miles an hour and almost hit him. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. What's he, up, what do you got up here? Oh, just a bunch of little old stuff. Dude, you yeah. see this right here? Yeah. A kid just gave me one of those. They're identical to that. You can make, you hit, there's yeah. a guy that makes them. Okay. If you give him a picture of your truck. Yeah. Can I take this off here? Yeah. That's the, that's my W9 when I was uh, in 93 when it was new. Yeah. Wow. Look at you there. Yeah. All muscles and stuff. <laughs> I, we were all muscles, all of us <laughs> years ago. You know what? Can we got to load our own trucks. Now we're all done. <laughs> I'll show you that interior I got. Okay. Wow, look at this. I never finished this room. That's the uh, that's the inside of the oh, arrow yeah. tank for the Kenworth. Yep. But I don't, you can't take a picture of this, but I'll show you how nice this interior is. Take a couple of pictures of it. These are the stock oh, yeah. ox blood for that cab over. Yeah. The, do the doors. I mean, look you at know, that. Yeah. Yeah. All brand new in the box. Wow. Yeah. Dude. The whole interior. <laughs> The thing's gonna be sweet when it's oh done. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's see if I can find any the door for this. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. This is a door panel? It is a door panel. Oh yeah. Look at that. You know? Wow. I can't wait to see it. Guys that. would kill for this. Yep. Kill. My father almost killed me because I I spent <laughs> Five grand on it. He goes, you didn't even pay that for the truck. He goes, you you crazy bastard. You ever take your dad with you on the road? Yeah, I took him uh, one time his first trip. I I was hauling out a uh, press guy with McCain's French fries, and uh, he goes, yeah, can I take a ride? I go, yeah, I'm going far. He goes, where? I go, Grand Rapids, Michigan. He goes, he goes, all right, I'll, I'll go with you. I go, you sure? He goes, yeah. So I take him with me, and we haul all the way out there. We get to the warehouse, and actually, before the before that, we I stopped to take a rest, and, uh -huh. and I was dead tired. And we were in my '89 Freightliner, long nose with a 60-inch uh, sleeper, and I was sleeping in the back. And I guess someone was knocking at my door, uh -huh. and my father goes, eh, eh, "Somebody's knocking at your door," <laughs> and I go, "What?" Huh? He goes, I, I wake up, I look, and I seen a girl walking away. Yeah. And he goes, I go, yeah, dad, yeah, must have been someone wanting tools. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he goes, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so we go up to Grand Rapids, and we're up there, and I'm unloading, and we go to, in the warehouse, and the guy goes, uh, hey, you got damaged pallets, and the, the, the product was to the roof of the trailer. He yep. goes, you're going to have to restack these. And, and my dad was with me, and he goes, what? He, he, oh my God, he get laid into that guy so hard. And you know, being, you could tell my accent, my father's uh -huh. even worse. Right. And he thought we were, he was like Al Capone or something. <laughs> and he, he's yelling at that guy and the guy ran and, and some cowboy, uh, the truck driver was a few doors away, he come up and he goes, who was that guy? I go, that was my dad, he goes. Man, we need guys like that what out here. What was your here. dad telling him to go to go f himself? Oh yeah, he yeah. just said f you, this and that, you stupid bastard. <laughs> if you want to do it, you lazy son of a bitch. He goes, why don't you? That's your job. We just drive the truck. This we and that. We do need guys and, like him. Yeah. Oh my God, he was just laid in. That guy just a kid. He was a big kid too. He just yeah. ran. He just was. What the hell is this guy? Wow. You know? And I called my dispatcher, yeah. and they said, Tony, what's the problem up there? We heard that some guy, you threatened a guy, go, listen, it wasn't me, it was my dad, he's with me. He didn't want to hear that, <laughs> you know? And they're like, well, what, what's going on? I go, well, yeah. if you guys want the load, they want me to break down this whole load. I go, I'm not doing it. You could, so you go, so they got, a, uh, they got a lump of to do it. Well, I'm and not doing it in front of my dad. <laughs> and the company paid, and I, he go, my yeah. father get back in the truck, he goes, yeah, dad, they're having a lot, guy do it, but we're gonna have to wait. Yeah. He goes, the hell with this shit. He was, he was. <laughs> and then on the way home, on the way home, I go to Chicago, pick up a load in Chicago, going back to Boston. And, uh, me, going back to uh, Aga. Yeah, oh and, yeah. Uh, and uh, my father goes, oh, geez. he goes, I had enough of this. So we wanted to fly home. He makes me go to, I think, what's it? Uh, 
Chicago yeah, Airport, yeah. O'Hare, right? O'Hare Airport, yeah. So yeah. We, we pull in, this is when things were cool. Yeah. We pull in right up to the terminal, and there's these guys with briefcases, you know, the pilot uh -huh. guy. My father goes, hey, hi, how are you? He goes, uh, yeah, he goes, where can I get a flight back to Boston? And the guy goes, why? Well, he goes, he goes, well, uh, yeah, you going to Boston? He goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, go in there, this and there. He goes, by the way, he goes, I'll be your pilot. Uh -huh. like, yeah, and they go, no kid. He goes, he goes, and my father went in the building and I was talking to the pilot. He goes, yeah, he goes, you are down here. I'm up there. It's all the same. Yeah. He goes, what, your father don't want it? He goes, no, he, he, he don't want to be in the truck. He's, he wants to go home. <laughs> so he came out. He goes, they want three hundred dollars to go to boston he goes i go dad get in the truck shut up and we'll, we'll be, be there home tomorrow in a few hours <laughs> yeah. i drove straight all the way almost yeah. all the way home because i didn't want to hear him <laughs> he goes i can't believe we drove all through the night this and that through the blizzard up near lake area yeah. it was in the oh, winter yeah. oh yeah and we go, and i brought him home and like that was his last long haul truck driving really trip. just another day of the, yeah. on the job and then he got home and my mother sitting at the table she goes and by the way don't be answering your door for any girls in the pocket. <laughs> I go, I didn't think he knew that, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, they were looking to borrow tools all right. Oh, <laughs> that's boy. awesome. That was funny, though. Well, Tony, I really appreciate you having me come down here and talk to you. Great stories. I think the people at home are going to enjoy this. I wish you uh, many more years of trucking. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun, dude. I'll awesome. be driving until I can't crawl up in the truck no more. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. You know? All right. Cool. All right, man. Thanks, Thank Mike. you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate you. Yeah.